What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in again. This is another one of Hoggy's Beer Reviews and we're in the kitchen today because we're doing a casual video because today we are reviewing another homebrew from a man, Dorf68. And since Dorf does all his videos casual style, you know, I figured screw the table, screw the actual setup that I use for my, you know, most of my legit reviews. We're doing this one Dorf style. Just chilling, real casual, drinking some beer. Um, and yeah, there we have it. See if we can take a good look at that. The Dorfcade Single Hop Hokey Homebrew IPA Dorf Brewing. I'm not sure what the, the deal is with Hokey Homebrew and Dorf, how the collabo went. I meant to ask him and I didn't get a chance, but it doesn't matter. This is the Dorfcade IPA. I've been meaning to try this since he told me it was in existence. Because you guys know I love IPAs and Dorf makes some kick ass fucking beers. Um, I had his Black Dog Lager. That was damn good. Um, I had the, 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 uh, the Dorfentine Triple X Ale. That was really fucking good. I had the Eupinator Double Bock. I'm not a fan of Double box, but even that one was pretty damn good. So that was a nightcap beer. What was it like 9, 9, 10%? How much was that, Dorf? That was, that was a good beer. So now we got Dorf's IPA. I've been meaning to try this for some time. You know, he sent me this package like two weeks ago, and I had it sitting there. I couldn't go pick it up until a couple days ago, and now we have it. And this is the best part. Let me see if we can get this on camera. You see that? Can you make that out? Dorf got custom caps, man. So this is going on the fridge. On the cap, that is. Although Dorf, man, here's a tip. Because um, Dorf, when he sends his beer mails out, he wraps the hell out of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the caps with electrical tape so they don't come off in transit. It can happen. It happened to me once. Um, but Dorf, the, uh, when you peel off the electrical tape, it actually peels off. It just, you can't even see it. Just the bare little edge right there peeled off with the tape. So, just a full one one there. But, um, fuck it, man. IPA. Man, you know what? It's November 15th today, but this is South Florida. And today was in the 80s and muggy as hell. So, I'm dying for an after work beer. We got a, a cap we want to save, so we break out the big lighter. And we have Dwarf Cave. Whoa! And it's overflowing. Good thing the sink was right there. I guess I shook that a little too much showing you guys the cap and all that shit. It's my own dumbass fault. But anyways, let me be strategic here so I don't drip. The IPA goblet, I put all my IPAs in here. No exceptions. Every other IPA I've reviewed has been drank out of this goblet. Whoa, Dorf. I don't think this is just me shaking the beer up, man. That's a whole lot of head there. Mmm, oh, it smells good though. Cascade hops, man. Citrusy and slightly sweet. Yeah. Oh, this, this sucks though. I wanted to drink the damn beer. Now I gotta wait for this shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh well, fuck it. Shouts out to Dorf. Shouts out to SJ Poor. Shouts out to every other uh, home brewer on YouTube who's doing serious shit and making good beer. You know, there's, there's a lot of Hokey Homebrew, I guess, is included in that. I haven't seen your videos, man. You know, there's a lot of guys that I don't, haven't seen their videos, haven't come across your channels, haven't had time. You know, but shouts out to everybody making their own damn beer. You know, I, I believe people should be self-sufficient. If you make your own beer, if you make your own moonshine, if you reload your own ammunition, God bless you. You fix your own cars. I can at least fall into that last category. You know, all that kind of stuff. And I know, I know Dork's probably watching this right now, whenever this airs, going, God damn it, I want your opinion on the beer already. But I'm going to get a nose full of fucking foam if I try to drink this some bitch. But you know what? For Dorf, I won't keep you waiting anymore. Foam me and all. Cheers. Sharp. That's my, my initial one word description right there. Sharp. Um, it just bit me right away. And it was like half hot bite and half like carbonation bite. Um, 
But as I kept going there, I was impressed. Um, the body is, is more or less medium, approaching medium. You know, it's definitely not one of those thin beers that, that suck so bad. What was that really thin IPA I had the other day, that uh, Thomas Creek uh, Class 5? Yeah, too thin, too thin. This is not thin, this is good. Semi sweet, hot bitterness up front, and more on the finish. Nice resinous finish. That's a pretty good IPA. Dorf, you did it again. And you guys know I know my IPAs, man, and I'm, I'm really picky about my IPAs. And 6.5% uh, uh, alcohol by volume. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's 22 ounces. There's all that right there. But 6.5% um, tastes about right, which is really good for an IPA, in, in my opinion, because 6.5% is just about the perfect sessionable IPA alcohol percentage. Um, this is very drinkable. It's not too heavy and it's not too malty. Y'all know I, I hate those really sweet malty IPAs, the double IPAs and shit that lean towards the malt. Um, so you got that going on. You got a good hop bite, man. Good hop flavor, man. Good hop resinous finish. So you got that going on. And just, yeah, good ABV, good taste, good body. Good job, Dorf. Good job, Dorf. And I got another one. I'm drinking both of these motherfuckers tonight. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, let's see, how long am I running here? Oh, we're not running that long. All right. Well, let me see if I can top myself off. So, yeah, man, Dorf, good job, man. I really like the beer. Um, Everett Washington. You know, it's funny. I, I thought of Dorf the other day because I was driving down the street, and this 18-wheeler pulls, pulls up next to me. Looked like a Volvo. You know, typical uh, double-axle sleeper. And uh, on the side of the door, like with a lot of these small companies, it had the name of the company, you know, the DOT number or whatever, and their location, you know, wherever they're from. And, and it was Everett Washington. I said, hey, that's where my man Dorf's from. That's where the good beer is coming from. Everett Washington. Matter of fact, oh no. Was it here? No, it wasn't here. Okay, never mind. Eh, no, was it on the cap? It was. Aha! It was on the cap. See, I got the I got the autofocus turned on, so you ain't gonna see this shit. But right there, can we can we Yeah, can we make that out? It's fuzzy as hell, but right on the bottom. It says Dorf! Dorf Brewing, Everett Washington. I'm diving to go to the Pacific Northwest one day when I was traveling. I never got a chance. Um, it's just beautiful country up there. It's real green. It's real pretty. It's real piney. It's real happy. So uh, I want to go up there one day, check in on my man Dorf, soak in the scenery, you know, come home with some hops and drink a lot of good beer and, and all that stuff. And God damn it, she's got a lot of fucking head. All right. <clears throat> Salute, Dorf. Good job, man. I hope that business venture works out for you. You deserve it, because I can taste the love in your fucking beers. That's right. I'm out of here. This, as far as a home brew and just an IPA in general, this is a glass full. This is good, drinkable, tasty. I like it. Thank you for sending it to me and giving me the chance to try it. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Everybody else who's tried Dorf's beers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Support the man, because the man does good work. And uh, that's it, man. I'm going to go. You know, jam out, listen to the Scorpions or some gangster rap or something and, and drink my beer and chill after work. So, take care, guys. See you later. Dorf, once again. Salud. Later, fuckers.